Ooh, look at that one. Oh yeah. I'm kind of favoring this red one. I just saw a red one. Right, right there. Hey, what are you two up to? Shopping. Brianne, shouldn't you be saving your money? I know, I know, but it's not my money. It's Lizzie's money. She's helping me pick out my reward. Reward for what? Darcy's house. Every time I sell a house, I put a small percentage aside so that I can splurge. Okay. And this time I have enough for a new purse. Either this is a pathetic reward or a very expensive purse. It's a very expensive purse. I don't understand that. It's just a bag. Don't listen to her. She buys all of her bags at a thrift shop. You do? Yeah, but it's cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one. Are you sure Darcy's gonna come through? Yeah, the cell is definitely going through. Hello? Hey, I just wanted to make sure you got the right name for the title on the house. Oh, okay, is it in your name or hers? Hers. Okay, go ahead. Georgiana Darcy. Darcy? Yeah, do you need me to spell it? No, uh, yes, the Georgiana part. G-E-O-R-G-I-A-N-A. -E -A. Thanks. Who's Georgiana? I still haven't figured that out. The last name's Darcy. But yeah, that's what he said. Cousin, sister, wife. Who just buys a house for their family? He's not married. You are sure? Yeah, he would have said he was buying a house for his wife. Ex-wife? Okay, would you just buy this already? Complete. Yay. <laughs> in this box, it's heavy. Oh, stuff. Yeah, well it's been in the hallway forever. Oh. Ah. Are you okay? <clears throat> Does it look like I'm okay? Well, quit tripping. It was on your shoes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, what, what hurts? My toe. Don't touch it. Well, what can I do? I don't, go back in time and clean up your mess. How about a doctor? It's too late. An ambulance? Uh, no! I'm in a nurse! Brandon. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not great. Is it broken? Uh, the toe is. What do I do? Just rest, elevate it, ice it, just until the swelling goes down. Can I walk on it? Uh, it just depends on how it feels. But if it gets any worse, you, you definitely need to see a doctor. Thanks, Brandon. <clears throat> Gonna go to bed. Sorry, Eleanor. Just pick up your box. Done. No, it'll depend on how they respond to the offer. Okay, so change this clause so that it's. Oh, sorry. Hi, yeah, just one second. Um, well, so I would just phrase it like you've assumed they've already gonna accept it. Yeah, that might work. Because I've worked with this attorney before, and that is the best way to get through to him. Thanks. You're welcome. What was that? How are things still awkward between you two? <coughs> so, how's your day going? Good. <coughs> I have a random question for you. Darcy isn't married, or was at some point, right? Don't think so. Probably would have heard about that. Why are you asking? Well, this woman that he bought this house for, her last name is Darcy. Ooh, interesting. Like, mother or... I don't know. Her name is Georgiana. Georgiana? Yeah. It's very old school, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it is a wife and he just likes them mature. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird name, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. I was just curious, but anyway, it's not a big deal. I'll see you later. See ya. Hey. I am popular today. Is this a bad time? Should I come back? No, don't be silly. Come in. Are these uh, from the guy you're dating? Oh, no, they're from one of the partners, just like a pat on the back. And I am not dating that guy. Oh, really? I thought you liked him. I did. I do. Just I didn't think it was going to work out. Sorry. You made some good points and, you know, it was a risk. I knew too much about him and I just didn't see it going anywhere. Yeah. I Probably shouldn't have said anything. 
No, I'm glad that you did. Like, I think that I needed to hear it. You're a good friend. Well, as a good friend, how about I take you out tonight and get your mind off the supermodel CEO? Really? No, you don't have to do that. Come on, it'll be fun. I'm gonna ask Marianne out. Okay. We were talking last night, and I think she's gonna say yes. Well, that's half the battle. What's the other half? Having the guts to ask her out. She made me dessert last night. Really? Yeah. I think that's a sign, right? Well, not of any sign I know of, but maybe. Come on! Oh, look. I'm over there last night, Eleanor broke her toe, and so I'm helping her out. We're just all talking. And then... <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> yeah, did you see last week's with the lady who eats flour and water raw? Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> so gross. <laughs> uh... Hey, uh, do you want a brownie? Yeah. <laughs> Sure. I don't really think that counts as her making you dessert. Why not? Because it was made before you got there. And it was probably made by Eleanor, not Marianne. Well, how would you know that? Well, it's just a hunch, but Marianne doesn't really strike me as a whiz in the old kitchen. Okay, they're, they're brownies. <laughs> uh, how hard can brownies be? I'm just saying. Look, my point is that we had a good time, and I'm asking her out. Well, good. Go for it. Okay. Hey, do you want to back me up tonight? What, in asking Mary Ann out? No. Come on, you know, just to make things more casual. Or whatever. I, I can't, I'm, I'm busy. What are you doing? I'm taking Emma out. What? Really? Hi. Hey. Georgiana, Lizzie Bennett. Lizzie, this is my sister. Sister, hello. Congratulations on your new home. <laughs> Thanks, I still can't believe it. Well, it's too much. Do you like it? Like it? It's a dream home. Take a look around. You could have told me she was your sister. <laughs> Ruin my fun? Yeah, right. Can I ask why? I mean, it's very nice of you, but this is a big present. Well, our parents are gone, and they have been for a while, so it's, you know, kind of my responsibility to look after. Can I go inside? It's your house, isn't it? Thanks. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Well, I mean, I hope Georgiana enjoys it. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Go, you'll want to see how she likes it. Thanks. Brandon, what can I get you? Oh, uh, that one. Okay, in a shake? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I want- I'll be right back. Uh, I'll call you when it's done. Oh, thanks. So- Hi, I, can I have the pineapple divine smoothie? Yep, you bet. Hey. Hey. Sorry, it took so long. Oh, no problem. Hey, Marianne. Yeah. Do you have a second? Uh, sure, real quick. Um, okay. Well, I've been thinking about this for a while, but I, I wasn't sure how you felt, and, uh, you know, I, I should have asked you sooner. But, uh, do you want to hey, go... Hey, Marianne, with... can I get a little help, please? Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I gotta go. No, no, you, you gotta go. Okay, see ya. See ya. Okay. Next time, get straight to the point, and don't ask her while she's at work. I hope you're hungry. Uh, yes, um, just give me one second. Are you coming down with something? No, no, no I just feel a little bit under the weather, but... <laughs> Are you sure? Yep, but I will be just fine. Just need some medicine. No, you're not. This is more than a headache. Come on, I'm gonna take you home. Oh. Yeah, let me take this. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. You all right? Yep. <laughs> oh, I gotta be sensitive to her schedule. 
Yeah, she was working. What did I expect? No, oh, but I, I gotta be bold. I gotta be bold. No chickening out. No chickening out. Brevity. That always works. Based on prior experience. Okay. Okay. The well, worst comes to worst, she says no. She says no. She says no. Then what? Oh, if I don't try, I'm always gonna wonder. I will always wonder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. <sighs> It's ringing. Oh, it's ringing. Hello? Oh, hi, Marion. It's Brandon. Hi, it's me. <laughs> Sorry I'm not here. Leave a message. Here it goes. Um, the mailbox uh, is full. I cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, just lay down. Oh, God. sorry, I just ruined the day. You didn't ruin the day, just lay down. Uh. There you go. <laughs> now you just relax. You know, we could, what are you doing? I'm robbing you. I'm gonna make you some tea and then I'm gonna order dinner. Oh, girl, you don't have to do that. Shut it. More relaxy, less talky. I got this. <laughs> Eleanor? Hey. Hi. I brought dinner. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, stop, it's nothing. No, really, you shouldn't have. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I'm hungry. Thanks for the thought. How's your foot? It's so annoying. The only good thing that's come out of it is Marianne is actually cleaning up now. Well, better good than none. I just wish my toe would stop robbing. So can you even walk? Yeah, with a really obvious limp, which is fine. It's just everyone keeps asking me what's wrong. So? I mean, I have to tell them the lame story over and over. That's not lame. It's not exciting. Well, there's nothing really exciting about a broken toe. I know, that's why if I came up with a good story, it wouldn't be so humiliating. Oh, like you're stopping a thief from stealing somebody's purse. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm, but then how did you hurt it? You got too close and he stomped on your foot? I know, that's too far-fetched. Yeah, it doesn't really help with the humiliation aspect. Oh, sorry. Hello? I realized I never got a chance to say thank you. Oh, you don't have to do that. Yes, I do, I want to. Um, you've been really patient and diligent and exceeded my expectations. Well, that wasn't too terribly hard. You didn't expect much of me. No, I didn't think much of you when we met. But, I mean, I do that with most people. Uh, I find it's easier to rely on myself and it's rare to find someone who really measures up. Like you. Well, thank you. Er, you're welcome. I'll see you later. See you later. Wait, I've got it. Okay, I've always wanted to be a dancer, right? So I'm gonna tell everybody that I broke at dancing. Well, then won't everybody just assume you're a really bad dancer? No, they're gonna think I'm really dedicated to my art. Ugh, ah. I don't know what it is about hot and sour soup, but it does it every time. Good. Mm. How's your noodles? Well, terrible. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty bad. You know what my dad would say if he were here? Yeah. It's no wonder you're sick, Emma. You have far too many appointments with clients. No, <laughs> be like, Emma, get yourself down to the CDC as soon as possible. You need some blood work done. And lock yourself in your house immediately to avoid further contamination. <laughs> It's <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you. <sighs> How is he doing anyway? Oh, good. Yeah. He asks about you. Oh, man, 
I've been meaning to see that guy. Yeah, only if you're healthy though, right? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? A couple months ago. A couple months ago? That long? <laughs> I know. It's just, I mean, I call him every weekend. Well, he depends on you. No. Oh. This is like a guilt-free zone here. I'm <laughs> sick, remember? So right, there's no right. lecture. You can have that one. I mean, I try and see him as often as possible, but every time I go, it turns into this, like, debate about, you know, move out of the city, return home. Ah, uh, well, he misses you. I think he just misses the way things were. Hmm. Yeah, change doesn't really go well with him. <laughs> Do you know, he still resents my sister for leaving home. Did you get married? Oh, yeah. He, like, what? used it as some kind of a disruption or something. <laughs> what about your career? Does he hold that against you? He does, but it's my last name right. is still Woodhouse, so it's viewed as redeemable. Right. <laughs> ah. Well, you, know, you can't really blame a guy for loving you. Oh. I suppose not. <laughs> Come in. Ah, uh, yeah, your, your door's locked. All the times to lock my own stupid door. Hi. Hi. What are you doing on your foot? Answering the door. I know, I'm just kidding. Um, sorry to make you get up. I... Come in. It's okay. Um, is, uh, is Mary Ann home? Oh, uh, nope. How is the foot doing? <laughs> you know, it's funny how something so small can cause so much pain. How's the swelling? Has it gone down? Yeah. Still kills to walk. I bet. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Um, so, uh, you wanted to see Marianne? Yeah, I just had something I wanted to ask her. You are never gonna guess what happened to me today. <sighs> what? I met this amazing guy. Hi, hey. he's a photographer, and he, uh, he's really famous. His name's John Willoughby or, or something. Anyway, he's really hot, and he says I totally look like a model. That's great. Yeah. Great, yeah. And he wants me to go to Paris with him. What? <laughs> yeah, what? I know! Can you believe my luck? He says I'd be great in this photo shoot. Marianne, you just barely met him. And I have a job. But think about it, you've never done it before. Well, I can't work at this smoothie shop forever. You just barely got the job. Like a few months ago. I gotta go pack! Marianne, wait, think... Are you sure? <laughs> oh, she's like super excited. You know, I'm gonna get going, yeah. Oh, did you have something to ask her? Uh, no, 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 it wasn't important, and, you know, it's late, and I gotta go. <laughs> Set off that toe, okay? Okay. <laughs> How hard can it be? What, you think that we should get all the world leaders together to discuss something that mundane? That makes sense to you? Mundane? <laughs> All right, princess, when was the last time you were in your little island and you haven't been able to use your hair dryer? Okay, it may or may not have happened in the past. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. But just because I didn't bring one of those converter things that have, you know... That's my point, you shouldn't have to bring one of those converter things. There are far too many different kinds of plugs in the world. But let me guess, you would be on the side of the Americans that say, we've got it right, our plug is the best, go USA. I like where you're going with that, but... <laughs> I will defer to our world leaders. I mean, maybe we can start a petition and have them discuss it at the next UN meeting. I hope not. I hope not. That would be you, so depressing. Are you kidding? You are crushing my dreams right now. <sighs> what, what is it? You're in? Oh, my headache is coming back. Oh, no. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Can I get you anything? I hope it'll just go away. <laughs> <sighs> oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, you were just trying to cheer me up at me. My snotty nose ruined it all. Well, don't lose any sleep over it. I'm sure this probably wasn't the way that you were planning on spending your night. Well, I got to spend time with you. That's all I wanted.
<laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, I'm uh, so sorry. It's, it's okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, you know, I should probably let you rest, right? You, yeah, I should go. <sighs> you all right? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All I'm right. so sorry. It's okay. You should get some rest, really. Hello to you too. Why don't you answer your phone? Because I was out buying stuff for my trip. You don't check your voicemail? No, it's full. Yeah, so why don't you do something about that? Because they're all old messages, so what's the point anyway? The point is to clear out your box. So is that why you called to tell me to clear out my voicemail? No, I was calling you about your trip. Marianne, I was this close to calling mom. Oh, no, I already did, and she's so excited for me. <sighs> of course she is. Eleanor, relax. Look, this could be my big break. I'm just worried about you. Well, don't be. I promise I will be on my best behavior. <laughs> Your box came. It came? What is it? It, um, it's, it's just Lizzie's purse. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. What's in there? It's not a purse. Well, I, I may have ordered just a few things to help Lizzie with shipping. How helpful of you. At least it wasn't the other foot. 